Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. No, Tanishk. Again, as I said, the key for your freedom is not into having to fight, resist, being subordinate, to a brain's thoughts. Hmm? The key to your freedom from thoughts, and freedom from the brain's activity, is the recognition of the separation of the brain as an independent system and not a representation of you, therefore separation, of the brain, you, and thoughts. Hmm? There is a you, and I've always been a you, before thoughts or brain was created and added to you 40,000 years ago. We, human beings, we're living for millions or millions of years before we were able, given the ability to think or speak. We were like animals. That means there was a you before the brain. So they're separate system. Hmm? We were living instinctively like animals do. Run, sleep hunt, eat, have sex, and our gender was clear, no confusion, no debate, no discussion. Everything was hardwired. Hmm? But when we were able, given the ability to think hmm, and speak, then intrusive, different types of thoughts were able to find their way into coming to our attention yeah because the ability of making blocks putting it together however we put it together it shapes differently but they were able we became able to put these different things that they don't even match or jive but put them together and then say oh that means something no it just means you put these things together so that that's how it looks it doesn't mean that it's you so there was a you before there was a brain, that there was a thought. So there is a separation between you, the me, and the brain, and what the brain is capable of producing, which is thoughts. Now, in our case, we use the apparatus of the brain to create certain thoughts that would help us in achieving what it is that we're setting out to accomplish. Learn something, study something, create something, design something, accomplish something, you know, invent something. These are what we, we use the apparatus of the brain, you know, this equipment, this organ, to facilitate and to figure out things and that would be our thoughts. But the brain itself uses its own apparatus to create 80-90 thousand thoughts a day. Not because it knows what it's creating, just because its job is to put things together and create thoughts. And then put it there for you and you'd see if it's suitable or not your choices and your values. You make the vetoes and choices and selections. And that's supposed to be a tool to assist you, not to believe in it as this is my God. What it says is true about me. No, it doesn't shit knows about you at all. It has its own function. You manipulate it, you use it to, as a tool to build something, and it has its own ability to make things up to. But still, 
because you are the boss of this entity, it's up to you to give any values or any relevance, any use to what it produces or just ignore it, focus on what you want to focus and let it fall by the wayside. All right.